I'm Zakia Thomas, President and CEO of the ERA Coalition and the Fund for Women's Equality. Last week, we commemorated the centennial of the Equal Rights Amendment in Seneca Falls, coming together across gender identity, race, sexual orientation, age, and experience, celebrating that we have never been closer to having the ERA realized. Yet as I stood there in support of partners and the young advocates holding the convention, it wasn't lost in me that 100 years ago, I would not have been welcomed in this movement that though we were the powerhouses and the workhorses behind the push for equality, the contributions of black and brown women and LGBTQ plus people were relegated to footnotes in history. But how the times have changed and how we as a movement have changed. 100 years on, this push for equal treatment under the law has broadened and is now led by black and brown women, Native Americans, LGBTQ plus and gender non-binary people, young folks and so many others who would not have a voice at the time. We should all be proud of how far we've come to be inclusive, intersectional, and intergenerational. We are not afraid to stand alone, but we know we will never succeed if we don't stand together. We should also remember that the earliest feminists and equality leaders were ordinary people, just like all of us. And like them, we can and will do extraordinary things, both for ourselves and for generations to come. While the opposition wants to use our diversity to divide us, we know that our strength comes from our unity. We are stronger together. And now because of our unity and inclusion, we have the chance to finally see the Equal Rights Amendment come to fruition, added to the US Constitution. All it takes is a movement speaking in one voice, demanding change, and that's what we have. We've seen the opposition's playbook and know what they're up to. Just as they did 50 years ago, anti-ERA forces are fear-mongering and sowing divisions. And when we fail to stand together, we do their work for them. We are mobilizing millions across the country to unleash a new wave of advocacy, coalition building, and education to make the Equal Rights Amendment and equality a reality. My call to action today is simple. Stand together. Support one another and our movements because it's only by working together that we have the strength, the numbers, and the voice to make the Equal Rights Amendment the true law of the land. It's up to all of us. And with all of us standing here, we will finally get the ERA over the finish line. Thank you for all you do to advance equality.